we're in what I would call a, collect a collectivo if we were in Mexico. But it's called a sunflower or something like that here. Sunflower, yeah. Anyway, it's uh, 50 cents to go about six kilometers. It's basically a pick. 15 baby. 15 baht. 15 baht, yeah. Uh, so 30 for both of us, which is a dollar uh, to go six kilometers. And it's uh, it's just like a small pickup truck with a, a silver camper shell over it, I guess. Dan of Vagabond Buddha. This is our Hua Hin monkey temple and beach tour. Click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get a Google map of this tour. At that link, you'll also find how to live or retire cheap internationally. Um, okay, back to our video. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, comment, or subscribe to our channel? That would really help our business. Thanks a bunch.
So on the after the Monkey Temple, we jump, jump back on the Collectivo and uh, uh, headed uh, back north towards uh, Bahin. And um, we saw these private roads on Google Maps. Um, so we just pushed the button, got jumped off the, the, the taxi or truck or whatever the hell it's called. And we walked down one of the private roads and we got to this big, beautiful beach here. Um, and so, if you want to see the beach, uh, there was a sign that said no entry, private entrance, and there were guards at the front, we walked right by them, they didn't say anything, and then there was a guard at the, right at the beach here, he didn't say anything, uh, typical of Asia. The signs are probably, they probably can't lawfully stop you because it was two, between two properties, so the, both properties owned it, I suppose, the entryway so anyway we walked onto the beach here we are um, there's probably actually public streets like this looks like a public one here if we could come up this one we probably wouldn't even have seen signs but anyway that this is the one this building here is the one that uh, had the, the alongside the road of that one uh, so one more street towards town it looks like it's a public road anyway it's about three kilometers more to to Hua Hin. You want to walk on the beach or on the road, or what do you want to do? I don't know. Let's walk on the beach. The beaches here are not exactly spectacular, but they're not really known for their beaches. Um, but the water's a little calm for my taste. So there's all these beautiful resorts and, and single family, single family homes. So it's, you could tell at one point this was all just single-family homes here and then a bunch of resorts were built but um, now it's slowly turning over to high-rises so here's a single-family home right here you can rent there's a rental note and another one after it it's really it's really a beautiful beautiful area and we're um, about two kilometers south of Wahin Central. And you take the little green trucks, you go to the night market area, and you'll see these green trucks with like aluminum camper shells on them that seat like 10, 12 people. And you just jump on that and it's 15 baht to go south. Jump off whenever you want. And then head down one of these side streets. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Come to Vagabond Buddha, check out our retired cheap reports. Also our retirement planning and all the information you need to learn how to retire internationally for less money than it costs at home. Come check us out.